Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, sector ACB with the center C. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, radius uh, BC is uh, 3 units. And likewise, this radius uh, AC is 3 units as well. And moreover, uh, this arc uh, AB length uh, is 4 units. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, ACB is being represented by x degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, sector. And furthermore, we are going to calculate the value of this uh, angle X as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And we are going to calculate uh, this uh, angle uh, X uh, first. And once we figure out the angle X, then we are going to calculate the area of this uh, given sector. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this sector uh, ACB is the part of uh, the big uh, circle. So therefore, we are going to compare uh, this sector with the full uh, circle. In other words, we are going to use uh, this uh, proportion. The angle ratio is going to be equal to the arc uh, ratio. And now let's recall the circumference uh, of the circle. It is equal to 2 times uh, pi times uh, lowercase r. And in our case, uh, the radius lowercase r is uh, 3 units. So therefore, the circumference of uh, this uh, circle is going to be 2 pi times our radius uh, is 3. So that is going to be equal to 6 uh, times uh, pi. So therefore, uh, the circumference of the whole circle turns out to be 6 times pi. And likewise, uh, the angle uh, of the whole circle is 300 and 60 degrees and now we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, given uh, proportion and for this uh, given uh, angle ratio is going to be our this uh, sector angle x uh, divided by the whole circle angle is 360 degrees is going to be equal to the arc ratio means uh, this given uh, arc a b is uh, 4 so I'm going to write down 4 divided by the circumference of the whole circle is 6 times pi. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 360. And I'm going to multiply 360 on the right hand side as well to isolate x. And here we can see this 360 and 360 is gone. So therefore, x uh, is going to be equal to when we simplify and multiply the right hand side. That is going to give us uh, 240 divided by pi. And we know our pi value is approximately equal to 3.14. So therefore, our angle x value is going to be approximately equal to 76.4 degrees. So thus our angle x value turns out to be approximately equal to 76.4 degrees. And now in this uh, next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, sector. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area is always equal to our uh, angle theta divided by 360 degrees uh, times uh, pi r square where lowercase r radius in our case is uh, 3 units and our angle uh, is approximately equal to 76.4 degrees and our angle x uh, is also equal to 240 divided by pi so therefore for this uh, angle theta I will be using this value 
240 divided by pi and our lowercase r value as uh, 3. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, our angle is uh, 240 divided by pi. So I'm going to write down 240 divided by pi divided by 360 degrees times and then uh, pi and then uh, our radius is 3 whole square and now let's simplify furthermore this uh, whole thing uh, could be written as uh, 240 divided by 360 times uh, pi times and this is going to be written as uh, 9 times uh, pi and here we can see this pi and pi is gone and we can see this 240 divided by 360 reduces to 2 third so therefore we can write uh, equals to 2 third times uh, 9 so therefore this sector area is going to be equal to 6 uh, square units so thus the sector area turns out to be 6 uh, square units uh, and the angle is approximately equal to 76.4 degrees by using the very first method and now let me share with you the second method as well and in this method we don't need to calculate uh, this angle x first so therefore we are going to disregard this angle x and here in our case our uh, arc uh, length uh, is 4 so therefore I'm gonna call this one arc length and our uh, radius uh, BC is 3 units so I'm gonna call this one our radius and we are going to use this uh, very simple formula this time and the formula is the area of this uh, sector is going to be equal to arc length divided by 2 times uh, the radius and here our arc length is uh, 4 units whereas our radius uh, 3 units so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area of this uh, sector is going to be equal to our arc length uh, is 4 divided by 2 times the radius uh, is 3 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, square units uh, the area of this uh, sector so thus the sector area turns out to be 6 uh, square units uh, as well by using this uh, second method and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye